Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can create our first JavaFX application from scratch. So let's get started. I have this uh, basic barebone Java class with the main method. Now to add JavaFX uh, support in this class, what I need to do is first I need to import this library called JavaFX dot application dot application okay and after adding this uh, library what you can do is you can extend this class with the application class so extend with application and now this uh, application class will ask you to implement some methods so you can just click this uh, red bulb here and it will say implement unimplemented method just click this and it's going to implement this start method right now to start a javafx application you need to call a method called launch inside your main method okay and this launch method will call your javafx application constructor which in turn start your application okay and you have this method called start in which you can add your scenes or layouts or widgets okay so you can see here we have a start method with a argument of a stage class okay so you can take this uh, primary stage object from here and then call a method called show okay and this is your basic javafx window so save your code and run it and this will give you this blank stage window okay now i have told you in the first video that to uh, create a javafx application you need to add a stage and inside the stage you need to add a scene and inside the scene you need to have your layout in which your widget resides right so we will do the same here so for example i want to add a button inside the stage so i will add a button by calling this button class and i will name it as btn is equal to new button and to this button i can give an initial text inside the constructor for example click me and then what i can do is i can create a layout okay so what i'm going to do is there are different kind of layouts in java fx for example stack pane or vertical box or horizontal box so we are going to create this layout for example i'm going to take one of the layout which is called stack pane and i'm going to name it as root is equal to new stack pane and using this root you can call a method called get children's so get children and then you can add your button to it so just call a method called add and then call this uh, button object here okay now you have your layout so now we are going to create a scene so just below this we will create a scene object so scene scene is equal to new scene and then as an argument for the constructor you will give your root object which is your layout object okay and now we are almost done so just take your stage object from here and then call a method called set scene here okay so call a method called set scene and then pass your scene object inside this method argument okay save your code and then run your code now you can see this uh, small button inside this window now you can see here this window is very minimal which is of the size of this button now to give some size to our scene what we can do here 
is to the constructor we can add two more argument one is the width so for example i will give the width as 500 and 300 as height save your quote and run it once again and now you can see your button in the middle and you have a sized window of 500 by 300 okay now to add some action to this button what we can do is we can take this uh, button object and then we can call a method called set on action and as a value here you call a new event handler here okay and it's going to automatically create this uh, method for you inside this event handler and in here you can perform any code for example printing something so for example i will just write sys out and i want to print hello world on the console so i will just write hello world save it and i will run my application once again and now when i press this button i can see this hello world is printed here on the console right so every time i press the button hello world is printed okay so this is how you can create your basic javafx application so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now